And finally tonight, Shirley Jones is one of the few entertainers who has left her mark on stage, television, and the theater. This weekend, however, she is leaving her mark on Atlantic City as she opens a three-night set at the Claridge. Earlier, we had a chance to catch up with Shirley Jones and talk to her about her start in the business, a start which came with a lead role in a little movie called Oklahoma. <laughs> sweeping down the plane. Yes, the vintage Rodgers and Hammerstein classic was the springboard to stardom for one Shirley Jones, who landed the role of Laurie in one of her first auditions. My very first audition in New York, when I auditioned for the Rodgers and Hammerstein office, and I was 18 years old, right out of high school, and sang for the casting director, then in turn sang for the two of them. And within a year, I was starring in the motion picture of Oklahoma. So until much later, I didn't, I didn't understand. I thought it happened to everybody that way. I didn't understand what had happened, but it was phenomenal. Phenomenal to the extent that now 50 years after its debut on Broadway, Oklahoma is still as strong as ever. Jones says the answer lies in a simple formula. It's wonderful music, and the stories are, are entertaining. I mean, everybody loves them. You know, I think so much of what, what we're doing today in the, in the way of entertainment is not entertaining. I mean, uh, we, we talk about realism, and I'm rather sick of realism. We live with realism daily, you know. What we need more and more of is pure entertainment, and that's what Rodgers and Hammerstein did. That's what Oklahoma was, Carousel was. That's what the musicals were. And um, I think that's why they're going to be around forever, because people will always want to be entertained. Beautiful voice, Shirley Jones of the Claridge. Great.